Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at volume of rectangular pyramids. We're gonna answer the question, how do I find the volume of a rectangular pyramid? So let's review rectangular pyramids first. It has one rectangular base and four triangular faces that meet at a point or an apex. And then the height of the pyramid is the distance from the center of the base to the apex. So to find the area of a rectangle, remember you use base times height or length times width. You multiply the two side lengths that form the 90 degree angle. We're gonna need that because to find the volume of a rectangular pyramid, you are going to use the formula 1 third times capital B times H, where capital B means the area of the base. So the formula is 1 third capital B H, V is volume. To find it, we will do 1 third times the area of the base B times the height of the pyramid. Let's go ahead and label and identify those things in this picture here. So the base is the rectangular base and then the height goes from the center of that to the point. So this is the height right here. And again, to find the volume of the rectangular pyramid, we will multiply one third times the area of that rectangular base, which we'll find with one of those formulas, times the height of the pyramid. So let's practice that on number one. I'm gonna find the volume of this rectangular pyramid by using the formula V equals one third area of the base times the height. So the first thing I need to do is identify the base and the height. So the base is this rectangle here. And then the height is this distance right here, six. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my formula and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. Now I need to find the area of this rectangle. So I'm just gonna do two times four to find capital B, the area of the base. So capital B, the area of the base is eight. So I'm gonna plug that in for B into my formula. And then I'll find the volume by doing one third times eight times six. So remember multiplication, it doesn't matter what order you do it in. So I'm gonna multiply one third times six because that is easy for me to do. A third of six is two. So now this is gonna become two times eight, which is 16. So the volume of that rectangular pyramid is 16 inches cubed. Okay, number two, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find the volume by doing one third times the area of the base times the height. So let's find capital B, the area of the base. I'll find the area of that shape there. And then I will multiply it by the height, which is nine. Now I'm gonna cross that out because I'm not gonna use it again. So now let's find the area of the base by doing 3.25 times four. So the area of the base will be 3.25 times four. So area of the base is 13. So I'll plug that in for capital B. So to find the volume, I'll do one third times 13 times nine. Okay, I'm gonna multiply the numbers that are easier for me to multiply first, should be one third times nine. One third of nine is three. So to find the volume, I'll do three times 13, which is 39. So the volume of that rectangular pyramid is 39 yards cubed. Okay, let's look at number three. I want to find the volume of this rectangular pyramid by doing one third times the base times the height. So the base is the rectangle here since that's below the point, or I guess it's above the point since this is upside down. And then the height is 18 since that's the distance from the base to the point. So I'm gonna write it down for my formula and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. Now I just need to find capital B, the area of the base by doing 12 
times 6. And 12 times 6 is 72. So I'm going to plug that in for B into my formula. And now I'm ready to find the volume. I'll just do 1 third times 72 times 18. Again, I'm going to number multiply the numbers that are easy for me. 1 third times 18. I know that that is going to be 6. A third of 18 is 6. So I just need to do 72 times 6 to find the volume of that pyramid. And I get that the volume of this rectangular pyramid is 432 feet cubed. Okay, number four says the rectangular pyramid shown has a height of 7.5 meters. So if you wanted to draw in the height you could, it is 7.5 meters. What is the volume of the pyramid? So the formula for volume of a pyramid is one third times the area of the base, capital B, times the height. They told me that the height is 7.5 and the base is this rectangle here. So now I just need to find the area of that by doing five times four. So to find capital B area of the base, I'll do five times four, which is 20. So to find the volume, I'll do one third times 20, which was the area of the base times 7.5. So I do not know what one third times one of these numbers is off the top of my head. So instead, this time I'm going to multiply 20 times 7.5 first. And I get that 20 times 7.5 is 150. So now I just need to do 1 third times 150 to find the volume. And a third of 150 is 50. So the volume of this rectangular pyramid is 50 meters cubed. Okay, number five says the volume of a rectangular pyramid is 70 centimeters cubed. The area of the base is 30 centimeters squared. What is the height of the rectangular prism? So they gave us the volume. They gave us the area of the base, which is capital B. And they are wanting us to find the height this time. So let's write out the formula V equals one third BH. And then let's organize the information that they gave us. They told us that the volume is 70. That's what I highlighted in purple. And then they told us that the area of the base that I highlighted in green is 30. And they want us to find the missing height. So if I plug in this information, I'll have an equation that I can use to solve for H. So V, the volume, I'm going to replace with 70 equals 1 third times B, the area of the base, is 30 times the height. So now I can solve this equation for H. The first thing that I want to do is simplify 1 third times 30, which is 10. So it's going to be 70 equals 10 H. And the last step to solve for H is divide by 10. And 70 divided by 10 is 7. So the height of that pyramid would be 7 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number 6. It says a rectangular prism and a rectangular pyramid both have a base area of 15 units squared and a height of 5 units find their volumes, and explain how it relates to their formulas. So a prism is going to have a volume of V equals capital B times H, and a pyramid is going to have a volume formula of one-third BH. In both of them, B is the base area, and H is the height of the prism. So let's start with the rectangular prism. To find the volume of the rectangular prism, I just take the base area of 15 and multiply it by the height of 5, which is 75. 
So the rectangular prism with a base area of 15 and a height of five would have a volume of 75 units cubed. And the pyramid would be one third times the base area of 15 times the height of five. So it would be one third times 15 is five and then five times five is 25. So their volumes are 75 and 25. And I know that 25 is one third of 75, which makes sense because our formula for the pyramid has a one third in it. So a pyramid is one third the volume of a prism with the same base area and height.